Hi everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my weekly tea time on a card. I'm just trying to get on to my iPad. It's not coming on. Okay, I'm gonna have to let it sit there. I can see you guys are on on my phone. So welcome everyone. Tea time in a card. And just to let you know for you guys watching the replay, I always leave the videos on the, on the group tea time uh stampin ink i'm lost stampin ink designs facebook group i always leave the videos there some of you guys have a hard time finding them you just need to go to the top of the page under media and all the videos are listed there and then i do put all of my videos on youtube as well so make sure you find my channel on youtube so look at this you guys oh hold on i'm coming up it's finally coming up. I just want to make sure that I can see you. Just give me a second. There you are. Okay, so I have three brand new stamp sets I'm using tonight out of our new annual catalog that just went live last week. Thanks for those of you that placed orders already, and I hope those of you that are my customers, you've received your catalogs already. So let me go over these three stamp sets that I'm using. I'm using the Cheerful Daisy stamp sets. This has been very popular, along with the Cheerful Daisies dies. Again, just a reminder, Stamping Up is now, I think they started um, with the last catalog, now naming the stamp sets and the dies the same, so it's so much easier for us to remember. Wonderful thoughts. I'm using thinking of you and What's the other one? The other one is so thinking of you I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. Isn't that nice? And then I'm also using the countryside corners, but I'm just using the dies. I love these dies I'm gonna go over this stamp set just a little bit because a lot of people are confused about how this works so this is one large stamp. It has all of these different frames. Once you stamp this, you can see that I've done some here. I didn't want to use the whole frame, so I just used part of it. I cut out what I needed. You can see here that I, I put all my leftover pieces in my stamp case. Here's another one. I just, um, just have the dots remain. I could use this for a shaker card. Here's another one where I just use the middle. So you just pick whatever design you want, and then you would pick the die. So this one would cut up to those stitched lines. So you can use this center piece. You can use the rest of it for a frame. You can even cut again and cut another hole. So it's kind of neat, a lot of different combinations. So I just thought I'd show that to you. I'm not using the dies. Um, well, I am using the dies tonight, but I already cut what I needed. I'm not using the stamp set. Okay, let me set that aside. Before I show you the card, I'm gonna bring all the products out. I've got that handmade tag for inks, lemon lime twists, boho blue, and Versamark. I am gonna use embossing powder tonight with the heat tool. And here's my little uh, embossing tool set. If you guys haven't seen this, this is the tray. Now you guys know that all of my powders are inside containers and everything um, just falls back in. But you can also get the tray and I will use it tonight just so you'll see how it works along with the embossing buddy, the little brush to take out some of those little um, flex of the embossing powder you don't want and then we have this cute little tweezer to hold your cardstock when the pieces are small I'm gonna put this right here because I know I might forget to use it so white embossing powder these are the jewels I'm using tonight they're the 2023 25 in color dots these are the new colors just gonna move this slow so you can see them all. Look how pretty and shiny these are. Don't ask me to name all the colors. I still don't know them by heart. I'm trying to remember them all. So many new colors. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move the stamps over. Just gonna move this just a tad. Look at all the die cuts I cut ahead of time, only because I didn't want you to have to watch this. So I got two of this big piece, 
and then two of each of the flowers. So the large and the small, and this one is the partial daisy, kind of just like flopped over. And then I have five of these pretty little branches. So you can see there's a lot of die cutting. I have a scrap piece of Knight of Navy. And these are all of the frames that I'm using. Now this is from the Countryside in Paper. Let me get my ruler. If you decide to try this card, you need three pieces. And I'm actually going to flip one over to use the, 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 uh, the other pattern. Three pieces that measure four by three and a quarter. And then I have three cut with the die. And let me bring that out so I can tell you which one I used. I think I used this one. Yes, yeah, so this would be number three from the largest. So the number three die, and I used three different patterns. And then I cut three with basic white. Bring that back in. I think it's number two. Wait, does that fit in there? I gotta flip it over. Yep, number two. Three of number two. And then we got one more here which would be number four. Okay, I think I got everything. This is a little bit of a lengthy card. Okay, I wanna make sure I showed you, oh, and I need blending brushes, one for each of the ink colors. These are the mini brushes. You guys, I really love our big brushes, but these mini ones, I think I like even better. I like them both. I want to show you the designer paper that I'm using. I've used a lot of it already. So let me see. I got one sheet. One, two. Why does my camera look so fuzzy? I'm probably moving too fast. There's three. I'm going to see if I can dig out. There's four. I don't know if I'm going to have them all. Five, yes, and six. Okay, I'm just going to sit still for a minute with no movement so you can see the paper. I want to, I'm just going to sit for a minute. Yeah, that is the problem when I move too fast with something too close. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. So there's one, three, Four. I'm just going to go fast and then sit still. Okay, there's the six on the other side. Okay, so there's the paper. It's all uh, monochromatic blues. Very pretty. Now, when, you know what I like the most about my card tonight? I actually got the inspiration from my card from one of you guys. I got a Christmas card from our group, and I loved it so much, but it's totally different because this is Christmas. This is from Sarah Wakeman. Look how pretty this is. A lot of embossing, a lot of silver. Okay, I'm just going to sit still so you guys can see all the detail. Just wait for my camera to catch up. Look how pretty that is. So this is a trifold card, and that's what I'm going to show you how to make tonight, but I'm using uh, different dies. We're going to use these as the shape. Okay. Ready for my card. There's the front. And let me open it. I'm going to try to go slow to see so it doesn't blur out. And this is the trifold that I'm creating. Oh, I see a lot of hearts already. Let me set it down so you guys can see it. It looks like a lot of work, you guys, but it's all die cuts. I only have the two sentiments are stamped and that's it. Everything else is designer paper and die cuts. So the first thing I want to do is show you how I colored. Let me bring this close. How I colored the daisies. I use the blending brushes. Everything is white when I start, but I use the blending brushes. So let's start with, I'm going to grab a pad of paper. I'm going to start with these big flowers. 
No, actually, these stay white. These are the big ones. So all I need to do with these is the detail one. I need to split these apart. Very easy with the paper snips. You only have to make like four cuts. And there's little tiny, see where they join? You just need to cut that off. So you can use this as a triple flower die cut or you can separate them like I'm doing. Okay, there's that one. I just wanna make sure I grabbed all of the edges I needed to cut off. So I have to do this twice. So see, it leaves a little knobby piece there and I just need to take that off. There's two. Okay, there's my third one. I gotta do this one more time. That's what I like about this die. You can keep them intact with all three together or you can just split them up. You could leave two. A lot of possibilities. Okay, there's those two. And I'm just gonna take this leaf off and then those little knobby things that stick out. Okay, there's all my flowers. Everything's been split up. So now I'm gonna use the two leaves. You can see I have two right there. And I'm gonna bring in all five of my little branches. And we're gonna add lemon lime twist. So I'm gonna start with that. Okay, let me make some room. So there's my blending brush. I don't need a lot of ink. I'm just gonna lightly tap. And you can see that I didn't color the whole thing. I just kind of tapped some color just here and there. I want to leave some white space on there. Okay, that's those two. So let me just scoot those over. Same thing on the branches. You can see that I left a lot of white space. I'm going to bring one up close so you can see along with the leaf. You can see that I left a lot of white space there. I'm just going to hold off just for a second so you guys can see. I need to do this four more times. And I try to add the ink in different spots on each branch so they're not all the same. Just a really quick way to add color. You could cut these with colored cardstock, but I just love the way that looks on the designer paper background. Okay, so there's my lemon lime twist. I'm all done with that ink color. Now we're gonna do the boho blue, and we're doing all of these single pieces. These are the detailed pieces. I'm going to bring those up close too so you guys can see they're actually embossed. I'm hoping the camera can pick that up. You can see that there's some indentations there where the, where the detail is. Okay, so boho blue, and all I did We'll start in the middle and just work my way out just a tad. My ink's a little bit darker. Just towards the outside, it gets lighter. And then on these, I need to bring these two in because we're going to have the top here that doesn't stick out. So all I'm gonna do on the, on the flatter ones is add blue on those little bumps, which would be the center of your flowers. See, I'm just barely touching in the center. I, I wanna leave a lot of white space. I'm kind of like going to the center and pulling out. So can you imagine the possibilities of all the colors you can add to these? It's a lot of fun. Okay, that's it, you guys. That's it for the coloring. Whoop, did I drop one? Wait, I gotta count two. Two, two, no, they're all there. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in the card base. And I've already scored it, but because I want, I did not have, I don't have 12 inch cardstock. I don't keep it on hand. So I'm using 11. And in order to equal this out, so it, the three sections are the same, I have 10 and a half. So I cut off half an inch. 10 and a half by four and a quarter. And then I scored at three and a half and seven. Okay. And what I did with my card 
when I created, um, I wanted my card to measure the normal five and a half inches. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So we're going to fold this accordion, accordion style. So when you fold yours, it should look like a backwards Z. And now we're going to go ahead and add the designer paper first. So let me get, grab those. And like I said, I these are all the same, but I flopped one over just to have a different pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. And make sure there's a quarter inch around all four sides. Here's number two. So like I said, this looks complicated, but really if you follow these steps, you can follow along, you can do the replay and just pause the video at each step. Okay, the next one is going to be the three cutouts. I'm going to bring in my pad of paper. Now this is where I want to measure up to five and a half. So I'm going to actually, let me put this this way. And it opens this way. I'm going to put this down even with the edge. And I'm going to, going to walk this up to five and a half. So you can see that I need to add adhesive to about three quarters of the way. The first one is the important one to get lined up correctly. So again, let me put this so it's nice and straight. I'm following my five and a half inch line. I'm going to press down. Now I don't need my grid paper anymore because now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to add glue like I did on the first one. And I'm going to line this up with the first one because they need to be all lined up when you open your card. Okay, so now when I close this, they're lined up. We're going to do the same thing with this one. And now you're probably wondering, how am I, is she going to line that up? I'm going to put it with the adhesive facing up. Put this on top. Hold it. Fold this down. And now all three of these are lined up. The next step is to do the designer papers. I'm going to flip them over. See, I've got this one in the middle. Next is the one with the little trees and the flowers. We're going to put that one on the first section. And the last one is the one with all the flowers. So there we go. We have the card base all set. My next step before I need to start gluing all of these things is to do my sentiments, which I have white embossed. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out first with the handmade tag punch. I know that I can, because I'm using the clear stamps, I know that I can cut out first and stamp later. If you're using the red rubber, you know that it's hard to know if they're lined up correctly. I'm going to use my little embossing buddy just so I don't have any static or little fingerprints. Okay, now I need to bring this down closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. And let me see, did I go right in the middle? Yes, I did. Okay, there's my first one. Now I'm going to do the thinking of you. And because these are so small, this is where the tweezers come in. Okay, I need to move this ink. I'm going to bring in my little tray. I don't normally use a tray, but I want to show you how it works. So we're going to pretend this is not in my big container. I'm going to use my tweezers. I'm going to add my ink, or not my ink, my powder. Here's my second one. It just It's just another pair of hands. It really helps a lot. Okay, there's that. Now what you do with this, there's a little lid on the end. You unscrew that. 
and you just pour it back in. It, it's like a little funnel. Then you just put this back on. Just wipe that with a, a, a dryer sheet, an old dryer sheet, and you're ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to use my heat tool. It's going to be a little noisy. Remember when you're using a heat tool, you don't want to burn your paper, so make sure it's always moving. Okay, there it goes. You're going to see it get nice and bright white. Okay, there's my first one. Okay, now this is where the dryer sheet comes in again because we have all of this embossing buddy powder on there. So I just wipe that. I always have an old dryer sheet handy. It just wipes off that powder. Okay, now we are ready to assemble. I'm going to do this one first. Now because these two sections fold in, you want to keep everything flat so that there's, there's no problem when you're closing. So we're going to add the bold one first. Actually, let me glue the detail on there. So these flowers are all two layers. I'm just going to add a few dots of glue. I always look for these three and the three bumps right there. I line those up. Press them in place. And look how pretty that is. Even though it's flat, it, there's a lot of detail and it looks so pretty. I just want to sit still. Okay, now I'm going to add this flower to the bottom. And then we're going to add one of the leaves. So we need a leaf and a branch. Just going to tuck this in. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot my white piece. I left this one blank because I thought it would be a good idea for um, anybody to write a note or a signature just to leave it blank. I almost forgot to put that one in there. Okay, now we can add the leaf and one of the branches. So I'm just tucking under the flower. Okay, there's my first one. Now the next one we have the smaller flower and the half flower so I need the detail for those two and again I'm just lining up the petals now I did use dimensionals on the front because we don't have to worry about any bulk on the front okay so again we're going to glue these on first and then we're going to do some more tucking. Okay, there's my two daisies. This time I'm going to add two branches. And also the sentiment. Whoops. I almost did a boo-boo. Okay, that's going to go right there. One more branch. Okay, I just want to take my pad and press on that. And the final, now this is where we can add a lot of bulk because it's in the front. So I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. We're going to glue the sentiment with dimensionals. Wow, you guys, I'm all, usually done a card in like 15 minutes. I'm almost a half hour into this tonight. Okay, this is going to go right here. Now we got to assemble the three remaining flowers. You guys didn't have anything better to do than to spend time with me anyway, right? 
Okay, this is going to go right on that one. These are still flat, but then I, I glue the flowers on with dimensionals for height. Again, I'm looking for those three short petals on the top. One more. I've been using this set a lot. I've done a lot of cards with it. Okay, now let's do the dimensionals. And it's up to you. You can see that I did punch out some of the little holes in the center, or you can leave them on there. I'm opting to leave them on for tonight. This one's going to go here. I think it looks fine either way. The little one's going to overlap a little bit. No, you know what? I'm going to use the minis on this one because some of the holes are punched out and I don't want the adhesive showing. So I'll add two minis. That one's going to sit right on top. Okay, now we've got two branches and the leaf left to do. Whoops, I got tangled. This one's going to tuck up here. And again, it doesn't matter if it sticks out because this is the front and the card is actually four inches wide. So you have that extra quarter of an inch to play with. This one we're going to tuck under here, maybe somehow. This one I don't want to overlap towards the end because we don't we want our card to stand up and then we're going to finish off by gluing that one there you know what i did wrong on this one i don't need dimensionals on this petal because this the sentiment is already raised so i just have one dimensional right there on the top that was kind of acting funky on me and the last part is adding the bling I'm using the blue, which is the boho blue. I'm going to use one of each size. And I think that's it, you guys. Yes, I have everything in place. So let me just, I'm going to stand this one up so you guys can see how it stands. And then there's the finished card. I hope you like my project and I will pick a name tomorrow for one of you guys to win this. Thanks so much for all the hearts. I'm glad you love the card. I hope you'll try one. Let me straighten that out. It's driving me nuts. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again next week. Thanks for all the love. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.